Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So Twitter, Elon Musk being sued by former employees, guys, for laying off people, which they are saying was illegal. He laid off over 3,700 employees, guys. It was rumors before that he was going to lay off over 75% of the staff, but 3,700 people equates to around 50% of uh twitter's original staff guys originally twitter had a little over seven thousand employees now they have just around 30 a little over three thousand and he cut three thousand a little over three thousand so as we know guys if we do the math for this you know cutting about 3700 people off your staff and the average salary the average we know different people getting paid more than less that's why we say average the average person was making about three thousand dollars a month Three thousand dollars a month times thirty seven hundred people, that's roughly eleven million dollars a month. Eleven million dollars a month times twelve, that's roughly one hundred and thirty three million dollars in a year. So Elon Musk already off real making one hundred and thirty three million dollars profit in the first year of operating Twitter just by cutting off uh, half of the staff. But we also would bring this number down a bit more, uh, more or less around ninety million he will profit because the other 30 million, he's going to have to up the pay of the other 50% employees that's left to take on more work, take on more stress, but also be happy to do it because now we're getting double checks. Our checks is damn near, you know, double what we was usually getting paid. So of course it's not going to be double though, but he's going to give him a little extra for taking on more work. But anyways, guys, if we take a closer look at this, it's a five current or former Twitter employees sued the company Thursday, alleging it violated federal and California laws by following by failing to give enough notice about ongoing mass layoffs. So basically, they're saying Elon Musk just came through, took over the business, didn't give them no type of you know uh, heads up that he was going to do this. He straight up just y'all gone, y'all fired. You know, after these people, as these people was going through hard times that it is, you know, rising inflation. The cost of living is sky high. Uh, we in a recession. And you telling me you're going to just take my job away? So I do believe, you know, that was kind of, you know, messed up of him to do that, especially if he didn't give them no warning. I understand buying the business, doing what you got to do, what you got to do. That was in his best interest to help further grow his business or to, you know, change the business model. He had to do what he had to do. But I don't agree with him not warning people before destruction. So you already know, guys, and we also know that uh, Elon will be charging eight dollars per month for uh, verified users. He have over four four hundred thousand verified users on uh, on Twitter. So if we do that, that's about three point two million dollars a year that Elon will be getting from verified users, and roughly around forty million dollars every single year, guys. And of course, the number could be a little less or more because 400,000 was the current verified users back in 2021. Pretty sure it's grown by now. And also the number probably won't necessarily be $40 million a year exactly because every single uh, blue check isn't going to, you know, fall, do this. They is not going to do this. Even though you may say, oh, they're millionaires. Everybody going to do it. They be. It's not about that. It's more so about the principle. Like far as I look at it as extortion. Like you just you the only one in the game charging people monthly fees for a blue check. And I know what some of the people in the back gonna say, well, it's to, to to get rid of the bots. Something with the bots. Man, bump them bots. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nobody paying no eight dollars a month to for a blue check when I'm the reason people is on the platform. Like far as this is what the blue check people thinking. I'm the reason why people come to your platform to see me. So you should be paying me eight dollars a month. So that's my take on it. You already know, though, guys, we're going to see how Twitter unfold. It's going to be a lot of free speech and all that going on over there as well. So and he's talking about bringing Vine back. They're trying to get rid of TikTok. There's a lot of stuff going on, guys. So you already know what to do. Follow for more Edge Boy on the Instagram at The Behave Show. Get in VIP. I love y'all. Out and God bless you. We come.